But the debate is settled. Climate change is a fact. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I guess that means a video must be worth 10,000 words, 100,000 words, something like that. Uh, yes, I know that Barack Obama said that the debate was over and uh, climate change is real, but what you're seeing right now is some pretty real evidence uh, contrary to that, that there is indeed a debate, that uh, maybe climate change isn't real. That is, on your screen, you're seeing snow coming down. And uh, we were always told back before the debate was over, uh, back during the 80s and 90s, that one day, when climate change got so bad by 2014, that uh, we would have really warm winters, and New York would be underwater, and Miami would be underwater. But you can see right here, none of that is happening. That is actual snow on your screen, and uh, make no mistake, this is not trick photography, this is not Photoshop, this is actual, honest-to-goodness, by God snow. Let's uh, just prove that for you right here. See that white stuff here? All right, yeah, that... that. See, that's, uh, right there, that's snow, that's white there. that's snow. That exists, so, yeah, that's, uh, actual snow. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of evidence, as you can see right here, the global climate change or global warming or whatever might be a crock of crap. So, you're seeing this, and uh, some of you are, especially you younger folks, especially the kids out there, you're not sure what to make of it, because you're hearing your president say that climate change exists, and you're hearing probably your science teacher claim that climate change exists reading it in your textbooks maybe seeing your social studies teacher say that climate change exists but yet you are seeing on this very screen actual snow coming down which would lead you to wonder about that lead you to question that well i know it's hard to realize that there are people out there that are lying to you and claiming things exist that don't now not all those people are intentionally lying to you i'm sure a lot of your teachers and so forth have the best of intentions for you but uh you know they've been uh They've been sidetracked by this lie, and uh, so you're seeing evidence to the contrary, and you're wondering, you're wondering what to do. You're wondering what to believe. Well, I don't expect you to make some big scene in your in your classroom or challenge your teacher on this, because let's face it, they control the grades, they control, you know, your your future in terms of how you get through school. So you can't really fight them too much on this. So yeah, I would I, I would say to just go ahead and go through the motions and put out put down whatever answers in the test they want you to put down and you know play along. But you don't have to believe any of this crap. Is what I'm telling you. I know you might think you're lying. You're really not. I mean, think of it like think of your science class kind of like a English literature class where you you read a short story or you read a book and you take a test on it. You know you're taking a test and answering a question on a fictional series of events that didn't really happen. Well, that's what you're doing in science class now when you see when you hear about global warming global climate change and yet you see videos like this or you see uh, snow outside your window or you see uh, different uh, things in, in your own life that contradict what you're being taught in school and what the entertainment world is telling you and so forth let this be a life lesson to you kids never ever allow someone to tell you that what you've actually observed and what you've actually seen with your own eyes does not exist. Because it does. Your observations, your experiences are far more important and should be a far bigger, play a far bigger role in your beliefs and what you do in your life than what some academic or some teacher tells you. Your president is wrong. I don't know if he's lying to you or he's just mistaken, but either way it's the same difference. Your teachers are wrong. Science, at least in this case, is wrong what you see now is right this is real snow this is real winter it's not the first time it's happened four or five times this year so clearly global climate change is a load of crap and you have your evidence here